2017 marks the centennial of the U.S. entry into World War I. Up next on American History TV's Real America, Men of Bronze, a 1977 documentary about World War I's Harlem Hellfighters, soldiers of the 369th U.S. Infantry Regiment, an all-black unit who earned distinction serving with the French Army. The regiment was assigned to the French Army because they needed men, and many white American soldiers refused to serve beside African Americans. The story is told through several interviews with World War I veterans themselves. Henry Johnson and Edith Roberts, two boys in the platoon, commanded by Lieutenant Pratt. They're holding out a certain section up in the, in the Argonne, and it seems that we always had listening posts, you see? Now, I'll explain if you don't know what a listening post was in that type of warfare. This was nothing like the Korean or Vietnam. See, when the troops are holding a trench, further activity, every night they had a post set maybe 200, 300 feet from the main body in the trench. And every night they put two men out there just to listen and warn if there was going to be a sneak attack. But of course the Germans on that were doing the same thing. So this particular night, Henry Johnson, who was one of the greatest heroes, even greater than Sergeant York, which everybody knows of, were out there when these Germans attacked the listen post. Now approximately 24 Germans attacked. Needham Roberts got slugged almost immediately, and Johnson fought them off. He shot and he cut and he swung his wife around and he defeated the 24 Germans. Those that didn't wound or kill, cut out. He had 21 wounds in his body, but he refused to die. And it took Johnson and Roberts, we finally got out there in the morning and dragged their bodies back. They weren't dead and both lived through it. Sorry to say today they're both gone. I'm sorry to say today I can say almost anything because most all of them are gone. I'm 75 years old and I was only 17 then. So it ain't many guys that were 25 or 30 is here to contradict what I'm telling you.